Peru. I'm ready to be, I'm ready to keep hustling. I work hard to pay my, for my college education and I get my degree last year. I competed three times to be crowned Miss Peru and now I'm here with you tonight. I want to inspire you, let you know that never give up on something you believe in, because I didn't. Thank you so much. <laughs> I believe women are change makers in our communities. That is why I studied diplomacy and international services. Also aviation, because I want to become a chancellor in my country. When I was seven, I learned girls, little girls, were forced into marriage. That is why later on, I decided to join the fight against child marriage. I believe that when we raise issues like this, that many don't know, we can truly make a difference. And as Miss Universe, my job will be stay and enforce that girls stay girls and not brides. Thank you. Mexico. I became an advocate for mental and emotional health when I realized that through my story, people can heal. I wrote two books about human empowerment and have been giving conferences in different platforms like TED Talks. Some of this them is joined here. before And that's what already. gave my life meaning. Because I believe that Maybe. if you do not use your beauty for your life's mission, then it's just an empty ornament. Thank you. USA. USA. Thomas Philippines. Oh my God! I almost failed kindergarten. I was such a quiet child. My teachers didn't know if I was ready for first grade. I have since found my voice and used it to earn three degrees, a job as an extra TV correspondent, and a role as an impact ambassador for global nonprofit Dress for Success. No matter where you start, the possibilities for your future are limited only by the depths of your own imagination. Philippines! Philippines! Woo! The world is aging, and my grandparents raised me, and I've worked in an organization that was supporting for elderly care. I learned that, I realized that there's the stigma between ageism, poverty, exclusivity, and invis invincibility. I have a it is a right call for us to remember that they were the ones who paved the way for us. And we should reciprocate that love and no one should ever be left behind. Thank you. Venezuela. Mm -hmm. born in Venezuela, a country of the smiles that touched me as a value of perseverance and creativity, that turned me as a woman, as a tenacious woman that doesn't stop despite adversities. I decided to dream big and now I'm living it, understanding that our decision bring us back for the things that we want for our life, no matter what circumstances are. Thank you. In smaller towns of India, bigger dreams were not meant for a girl. But I was a dreamer and a believer, and I never gave up. Today, through my non profit organization, we provide healthcare to those who are in need. And along the side, I landed upon a cover of Vogue. So I want to tell all the girls to have a dream, believe in yourself, embrace it, and create your own story. Thank you. Chaka magagaling lahat, puro matatalino na lahat talaga. Wala itatapon. As Miss Brazil and as a woman, I feel the dirty to fight for human rights, to make my voice heard against harassment and aggression, and never remind fight. Thanks to the feminists of the past, today I have several rights. And I promise to continue fighting for our generation and the next. Thank you so much. It's not in there. Puro maganda, puro matatalino.
Pasok na naman ng Colombia sa Venezuela ulit. My life purpose is to contribute to the building of a prosperous, better society with the tools I have in hand. As a lawyer, I work with incarcerated population and protecting the rights of women who have been victims of violence. As Miss Colombia, I travel to more than 25 cities and seven countries, providing humanitarian aid and giving visibility to, to the causes that needed it. I have a commitment to humanity, and I will always do my best to give back to the world everything that I have received. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one more hand for our top 20. Each has now truly made a statement. Now, let's go ah, to the and Olivia and get some insight into how the selection committee is going to cut this group down to 10. Take your way, Vanessa. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You're right. After that opening statement round, we're going to go from 20 to 10. Olivia, any favorites that are sticking out to you? Well, I really loved Iceland. Her, her answer just felt so heartfelt. And that's the thing about this. You can tell mm, when the women are being really authentic and genuine and when it might be a little bit forced. That's right. Um, and then fun fact, my brother has a crush on Miss Albania. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Cass. But so there you go. I liked her too. <laughs> All right, well, another elimination is coming up. Which 10 women will get one step closer to the crown? Find out when we return live on Fox. You're not that. This special is brought to you by Toyota.